Here we go, Hide and Valor. I like the name. Um, handmade in Seattle, Washington. Okay. So, ooh. Uh, I do like this uh, alternate call to action or whatever, a, a, a decline button. I think you, need, you really need to work on your design of this pop-up because um, your product is very visual um, and that and that's huge for a lot of marketing purposes specifically on Instagram and Pinterest but um, what you should really do is you, you know capture their email so you can remarket for, to them for free which means you got to have a great conversion rate on your pop-up um, so definitely take that into account um, I'm gonna take your website and uh, figure out what it's built with What on earth are you using, sir? It's it's WordPress, but it's not WordPress. I oh sorry, what am I doing? Um, does it say? Huh, okay, uh, so I think you're using one of the lesser known, okay, no, never mind, it's with Shopify, got it. Um, I've seen a lot of, but mostly Shopify and WordPress WooCommerce stores. Um, there's been a couple odd ones, you know, like Big Commerce, Press to Shop, um, that I, I always like to know what I'm dealing with. So um, this is good. I'm not sure that you want to change these uh, the the copy in front of each image. Um, like I understand what you're trying to do. I just don't think it's achieving the effect that you want, especially with the white on. Reshipping in the United States. I don't think people will stay long enough to read each individual one, which means the land on this and, and see its established sense and then scroll down. And you're really losing the power of this main message um, in the front. So I would just say, you know, handcrafted, um, beautiful wallets. I, th I think that's what it is. Um, once again, I, I don't know. So so that's my first impression. Hand Handmade leather wallets um, at affordable pricing. Well, whatever it is, you, you know, you sculpt a beautiful message, but just have one that's consistent on there. The shop now button is really red. And everything's really red. I, I don't like that. I think it's a little too red. I would choose like a different tone of red. Um, but maybe that's your brand color. So um, just something to consider. Uh, okay, so handcrafted, free shipping, ships in five business. Okay, this is confusing. The icon says one and then this says five. So this should be pretty easy to Photoshop that icon to say five. Um, Okay, so shop by collection. Okay, so I think um, the main issue I see on this homepage is the fact that you're not really telling, you're not really building trust with your, with your user, with, with the visitor to your website. So I think um, this kind of layout like this would be appropriate for like a mass um, e-commerce store like um, AliExpress or something. Like that's gonna like this, the, uh, this side panel and then all of the crap that they sell because they have just so much crap. There's no time for them to establish a connection. They already, they already do their thing. But if you're trying to be a, a small company, you know, people are gonna buy into that story. They wanna know that one, you understand who they are. So you connect with your consumer on a very personal level. And, and two, um, they, uh, they can trust you. Um, so those are the, the two big things. Um, and this right now um, just seems like a, a random store that I, I have no idea. You, you know, these, these, you say they're handmade, but they could be, you know, private labeled from China um, and you buy them for $3 and sell them for 40 you know, there, there's nothing stopping you from doing that. So if you show people, you know, the process, you know, like if the first thing was, you know, um, uh, beautiful, you know, whatever, beautiful leather, leather made right in the, our, what do you call that? The Pacific Northwest, 
right? Um, and then you have, you know, like a guy in an anvil or something um, crafting with a huge needle. Um, and then that goes through to your story because you have, you have a story section. Um, but I think that's got to be linked up. And there's so much you could do with this. Like this is, this is very underutilized um, in terms of the presentation. You know, you're just showing the product, but the product isn't the story. Um, South Central LA. I'm from uh, LA too, so that's cool. Um, so we, yeah, so I think I think this whole story section could be m improved drastically. That really shows your personality, because that's what you're really trying to sell here. If you're selling, you know, a, a boutique small um, product, you you, you really want to connect with your clients, with your customers. Sorry. Okay, journal. I'm trying to understand how um, this is different, but this is cool. This is definitely something you know you can talk about that the benefits of um, you know hand sewing versus machine sewing. How to make that? Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. So maybe don't call this a journal, but call this. Um, like behind the scenes or something because that's what it really is and people love that sort of stuff they love seeing how it's made um maybe you know add videos because that, that would be fantastic and then you can really um send those out I, i'm i saw that pop-up i think right um and you have a mailing list so you know there's no reason why you can't um take you know a couple hours every week and make a cool video that just shows you um it sh shows the consumer um just behind the scenes stuff, you know, how, how it's made, you know, the work that's put into each individual one and, and why um, it's, it's the best product out there. So, wish list, quick view. I'm assuming you're having, okay, so you're running Google Analytics. I'm assuming you're having um, all of this tracked and you know um, what the general user flow is. So I'm not gonna make, what is this? Oh, so you can personalize them. Oh, that's super cool. I see, cause they're a luggage tag. Follow me on Instagram, that's cool. How do you change the uh, font? Oh, this might, this might need to be restructured a little bit because people people need to have this information of what they can use before they enter, but it's below. Um, so I think you know this kind of needs to be restructured. I also don't love this background. I know you're trying to go for the leather thing, but it, it kind of clashes with the whole cleanliness because I, I think you're really trying to push for like a minimal, um, you know, modern look. But then this is, um, in my eyes, I think it, it kind of clashes with, with that scheme. Personal guarantee. Um, I would. Okay, so you have some menu. I would put more of the menu items, like our story, in in um, the footer. Um, I don't know you. There's not a clear message here about the company because you're not saying you are you, like as a person. Um. Oh, you should get a. You should probably get a company email instead of using at gmail.com. I mean, if it works, it works. But you can make, um, you know, info at hideandvalor.com and then have it forward to that email. It'll be just the same. You can email both sides um, if you love using Gmail because I think Gmail's great. Um, but anyways, it, I think you have a little um, conflict here where you're saying contact me directly, seeming like you are a one-person entity, which you probably are. But uh, the rest of the site makes it seem like you're big and, and you're broad. So I would, you know, change that to just contact or, or drop us a line, whatever you want to do. Um, there's, there's a ton of different ways to phrase it. So... I think... Um, I think, yeah, I think that's the, my main advice. You know, bring out more of your story into the the home page and um figure out you know what people are 
what resonates with people basically um, and bring that to the front your, your story and you know have, have a picture of your face on it if you it seems like you're like trying to hide behind the product but people people want to connect with with the founders um, of something like this you know where um, you can really see like the passion that a person has to hand sew all these um, wallets um, okay so I hope that's been helpful for you um, just getting you know a, a third party opinion um, never never seen seeing your site before um, if if you have any more designs or if there's anything else that you need help with um, feel free to reach me um, either on Facebook or my email is alex at venomarkstudio.com um, so yep thanks